In this episode, we're exploring an abandoned hospital in Buffalo, New York. The original structure was built in 1909, and by 1911, the complex was established as the Buffalo Homeopathic Hospital. It was originally designed to accommodate 150 beds. In 1923, the name was changed to the Millard Fillmore Hospital. Throughout the years, many extensions and modifications were made to enlarge the bed count and keep the hospital facilities modern. In 2010, the hospital was closed, and the mid-century structures were demolished by 2015. Join us as we explore what remains. The sponsor of this portion of today's video, Incogni, helps you get rid of random phone calls, text messages, and emails from spammers. Thousands of companies are collecting, aggregating, and trading your personal data without you knowing. These companies are buying and selling data like your full name, email, phone number, and address. Information you don't want out there. Legally, you have the right to request these data brokers to delete what information they have about you, but it would be a huge undertaking to email thousands of brokers individually. Incogni does the messy work for you automatically. Incogni helps you protect your privacy and take your personal data off the market by reaching out to data brokers on your behalf, requesting your personal data removal, and dealing with their objections. Once you grant Incogni the right to send deletion requests, it goes to work scanning all of the brokers that might have your info. Within a few months, Incogni was able to confirm that 182 brokers did not have my data, and 41 added me to a suppression list. Since registering, I have received significantly less spam emails and bothersome phone calls. And with the yearly subscription, Incogni is constantly monitoring these brokers, making sure you don't end up back in the system. Go to incogni.com slash proper people and use the code proper people to get 60% off an annual plan. I see drop ceiling. I do like this teal tiling though. It's clearly been modernized yeah. since. It probably would have been an open board with columns here, and then they added this drywall. Yeah. Oh. Maybe not, because this is like a whole classroom that looks pretty original. This yeah. is really cool with these but old desks. But this wall is definitely new. Yeah. But yeah, these desks are cool. What were they studying? Role of the labor partner. There's a crib up here. And a bunch of film slides. Most of these are just lesson slides. Makes sense. Architecture looks pretty nice from the outside. Green tile in every room. There's even a fountain outside. It's pretty nice. Another classroom. This one with some beds for beds set up training, here. probably. Got a dummy on that one. Wow, this is interesting. The chalkboard is shattered. It's on glass. And it's on glass. Huh. I never knew that about chalkboards. That's not a normal thing. It's not a normal thing? No. Yeah, that's definitely glass. And then this side is the chalkboard side, and this side is just like normal glass. Yeah, that's not normal. Yeah, that's really interesting. Oh, 
check out the first floor before we move on. We did start on the second. We'll go down, finish that, and then go up. This is basement, but I think part of it is first floor. It's like kitchen shit. Oh, it's full of stuff. Can't even get through here without climbing. Okay, screw that then. It's like a cafeteria, and there's drywall stuff set up. It's very moldy. yellow tiling up here. That looks kind of nice. Is this for ironing or something? Check out the dormer windows of the building next to it. Right Are they here. nice? They're really nice. Especially in the snow. I think when we get to the actual hospital parts, it'll get more interesting. I have my hopes up. Okay, we're gonna go back into the basement to cross over to this next building. Hopefully. Yep, there's the passageway. And this is where we saw the kitchen at the other end. Connector hallway is crispy. I'm hoping there will be one building that doesn't have drop ceiling. Yeah. This building looks much older. I see drop ceiling I do already. too, yeah. It's gross down here. Very wet. Include three to five servings of vegetables daily to go alongside your healthy serving of mold. Wow, that's bad. This looks like a record keeping area. Got all the mail slots. Hospice chairs back here. What kind of chairs? Hospice chairs. I'm down to just take the first staircase up and see. Yeah, we got we gotta get out of here, it's yeah. really bad. Gross. Interesting that there's power on in here. No way, there's power? Yeah. What did you see? On this cord over here. What could that be going to? So this is plugged in here. The so lights are on over here. That extension cord is going to something. We'll go up for now. We'll come back to the basement after we check out this building a bit. That's going to just go to a, a ground level exit. Looks pretty rough up here. There's a bed. This was the main entryway. Not original, but yeah. Nice marble. The marble with these streamlined handrails, that's like a mid-century renovation probably. It's an overhead projector. I haven't seen one of these in a while. The decay in here is kind of crazy. There's green leaves already. Wow, do you think these just sprouted or do you think they were they must be fresh. all winter? No, they must be fresh. Yeah, they've got to be. This is the side of the building that gets the most sun in the spring, so. Look at that, green leaves with a backdrop of a full blanket of snow.
Have you noticed the wires all have, look at the ice on them. Oh yeah, that's what created this formation. This was like stuck to the wire before and it's slipping off. I bet you what happened is it started to melt yesterday, then it refroze over the night and now it's melting again. You're getting all these interesting shapes in the ice. Do a full 360, maybe. Spin it. <laughs> Say hi to the neighborhood up here. It's tinted, so I can't really see in that well. Hopefully. Okay. What? Okay. Yeah. Somebody had fun in here. Do I have to go around? Yeah, unless you want to crawl through it. Go around. This is what happens when explorers go to a spot and there just aren't enough cores to photograph. They get bored and do something like this. Oh, there's something in this room. Some kind of exam table. Yeah, it's pretty crazy in here. so beautiful from the outside. The inside is just so plain and modernized. At least there's interesting decay. That's its saving grace. Place is really falling apart. shot of the older building from up here. Barely. This isn't really the best angle of it. This room is a big x-ray viewer. Yeah, you could fit eight of them on there. Look at this. Beautiful arched windows. And they just put the drop ceiling right up to it like that. It's just they can't be bothered to make all this piping look pretty. Wow, that's some weird growth on the ground. Did you notice what's behind all the drywall? Oh, tile. Yeah. Wow. They just covered it all up. Why? What is the point? They didn't even like add any utility behind here. Just covered. Just, oh, tile's outdated. Plain white drywall is better. And now it's all moldy. 
here's the hyperbaric chamber. I heard about this. USS beer. Basically, it was just a pressurized capsule. Yeah. And the high air pressure plus a very oxygen rich environment was used to treat a variety of medical things. Shall we go in? Sure. So I guess it was like two stage pressurization maybe. Gradually Definitely what it up is. To the, do these doors still swivel? Yep. Should I lock it? No. <laughs> Give me that. Don't do it. <laughs> Can we actually get it to move? I don't know. I feel like this yank. is to... Yeah. There it goes. It was in the lock position already. Yeah. Okay. We have the second door. Wow. This is cool. This is like the same exact thing they would have on a um, oil rig before they do dives and stuff. There's a gauge here that says feet of seawater. Really? They probably just purchased this for like a maritime use and repurposed it as medical probably. use. Thing. There's a really cool logo on the gauge. There's another one here. Is it Royland over there too? 250 feet of seawater. So they've got masks, a little sink. I wonder what that was for. Like a so mini so pressure so capsule that you could put stuff through. Maybe you can open it on that end also. Maybe. That's how you could get stuff in and out without unpressurizing the whole thing. There's a window out right here too. Don't close it all the way, but like put it somewhat close for a simulation of what it's like in here. Wow. <laughs> it got real quiet. Yeah. It looks like they would hit each other. They must like not. Yeah, that's supposed to be the other way. Yeah, yeah that's how it's supposed to go. Alright, we get it. It's interesting. Hyperbaric office. Oh, uh, it's... Uh, Noah, diving program. Mm -hmm. So it could have had something to do with diving training, maybe. Training, maybe yeah. I don't know. I don't think they would use a hospital for that. They probably have their own facilities. It was probably dual purpose. There was a research center here. That's probably what something like that. Yeah. I think they did use these for uh, decompression sickness. Mm -hmm. So that could have been it. Here's the control system. What are these? Black and white monitors, probably for graphs. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely geared towards divers. Everything says feet of seawater. Dive timer. Here's the pass through thing. I guess that would work as long as one side is closed. Air compressors are on emergency power generators. Oh, because if they lost power and they lost pressure too fast, they could get decompression sickness. If fire exists, abort dive and bring chamber to surface. That's so funny. They talk about it all as like a control ascent and descent as if they're actually going underwater. 
But I guess that's what they're simulating, so it all works out. Glassware. Wow, yeah, these labs are cool. A lot of stuff still left in them. Okay. Stacks of equipment. Oh, Those like yeah, something syringe type syringe, things. Yeah. are going up. Some more laughs, but they look messed up. It's wall to wall stuff though. Bottles of chemicals. So much left behind. They kept cold samples. Jewett Refrigerator Co. Kind of looks like more cooler doors over there. They're not. Just a little too big. They're just more fridges inside the fridge. Probably for things that have to be kept at specific temperatures. They're all full of different liquids. So strange. It's like new lights too. Yeah. Maybe they're getting ready to do something well, with this big place. room here. Oh, there's a theater. It's not the prettiest theater. Ladder. Oh look, old mailboxes. Oh wow. These are sweet. They're a little tight. I think 
we get up a bit higher. One more floor, it'll be a nicer view. But yeah, that's the building with all the labs, and it definitely has the nicest architecture here, in my opinion. The tiles in copper, really nice. The majority of the hospital is already demolished, and the rest of the property is awaiting redevelopment. It's unsure what the future holds for the 115-year-old buildings that remain, but hopefully they can be saved.